Hi, I'm James Muir, and this is a screencast for Make More Noise. We're going to have another look at a free plugin today. Uh, this time it's one from a company called Audio Damage. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick Google search for Audio Damage and then go to their free downloads page here. And as you can see on the free downloads page, they've got a free plugin called Pulse Modulator. So we're going to download that, install it into Logic, and have a quick look at it. So for Logic, we need the OSX, VST, and AU download, uh, but it's also available for Windows VST. And as you can see now, the plugin's downloading. Once it's downloaded, uh, OSX will put it in the standard downloads location, and we're finished with Safari, so we can quit that now. Let's pull it out of the downloads folder and have a quick look at it. Okay, there's the folder, OSX PM, Pulse Modulator. Just whack it on the desktop so we can find it easily. And when you open the folder, you'll see you've got uh, two plugins here, which is the Pulse Modulator dot component and the Pulse Modulator dot VST. So if you're installing for a VST compatible host, you need to install the VST. But in our example, we're going to be using it in Logic, so we need the dot component. So to install this, we simply drag it out of the download folder, hold it over our hard drive, and then over the library folder, then over the audio folder, then over the plugins folder, and then eventually we get to the components folder, which is where it needs to live. And there's the component in the correct install location. Okay, let's launch Logic and we'll have a quick look at it. Right, well, here's our Logic session open, and uh, what I've done is dragged in an Apple loop uh, of a synth part. Uh, let's have a quick listen to that with no plugins on at the moment. Um, I've just got a game plugin at the top of the channel strip just to knock the game back by 3 dB, because like most Apple loops, this for some reason peaks at 0 dB, and I like to have a little bit of headroom on each of my channels. So let's just have a listen to it with uh, no change at all, but uh, just a little bit of a reduction in volume. <laughs> Okay, so that's a fairly basic synth part. It's got some nice movement in it, and uh, it sort of gains in intensity as it gets towards the end of the 16 bars of the loop. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is insert the plugin, which we do by going to the second slot down on our channel strip, to audio units, to audio damage, and then to post modulator. And obviously we want it to be stereo because this is a stereo synth part. And uh, as with all the audio damage plugins, it's a fantastic looking GUI. Um, this button here in the middle of the GUI just turns the plugin on and off, and we'll go through the other plugins one at a time, uh, the other controls one at a time. Now, the easiest way to hear what this does is to just start with one of the modulators. So each of these modulators, one, two, and three, can be set differently. But what we'll do to get our heads around how it works is just start with number one for now. Um, so the first thing to say is if you're using it in a modern DAW, you've got a sync function down here at the bottom, which will sync the pulses to the tempo of the track. Uh, so I'm going to just engage the plugin and get it modulating, but have it so it's free running, not synced to the track. And then we'll bring in the sync so it's in time with the track. <laughs> Okay, so with just one of the modulators being used, it's fairly easy to hear what's happening. The control at the top pulse speed changes the speed of how quickly the pulses happen. And then the control at the bottom as you go further towards the right becomes a deeper pulse. And as you go towards the left, it becomes a smoother pulse. And you've also got an overall pulse shape control here. So I'm just going to drop it back into play again. And I'll just move this pulse shape from left to right. And again, you'll hear the same kind of thing. It'll get smoother or deeper depending on where the pulse shape is. <laughs> The 
really interesting stuff with this plugin happens when you start getting multiple modulators happening at the same time and you can set all of their pulses and depths to be different to each other which gives you an incredible amount of complexity and depth to the sound even though you've actually only got six controls you're really playing with so again i'm just going to drop it back into play and just dial through until i hear something i like i'm not doing this in any kind of logical preset way i'm just going to move the controls around till we get a sound that i think is interesting I'm also going to drop the other two modulators into sync mode so that they're all in time with the track. And just from that little playthrough, you can imagine the fun you'd be able to have if you had a little bit of automation to this as well. And you can control the changes of the speed and the depth in real time as the part evolves. The final control we haven't discussed is this boost amount, which effectively is a distortion. And again, with this, you can move it in real time as you're playing through your track and listen to the difference it makes. <laughs> As you can hear, that's another huge layer of uh, complexity to the tone, adds a lot of depth and fatness to it. It's also worth mentioning it does come with a few uh, factory presets, so if you're having difficulty getting your head around how it works, start with these and see uh, what they've done to get the sounds thereafter. So if you have a look at this one, you can see that we've got all three uh, pulses running and uh, very little in the way of boost and quite a smooth uh, shape in the pulse. <laughs> And if you look at this uh, first preset, or second preset here, chopping sync, you'll hear uh, and be able to see how to get the sounds much deeper, much harder chops on each of the pulses. In bypass, and then dropping it back in. And that's Pulse Modulator, a free plugin from Audio Damage. I have to say that's going to stay in my plugins folder. A uh, really groovy plugin, so thanks a lot to the guys at Audio Damage. I'm James Muir, and this has been a screencast for Make More Noise. I hope you enjoyed it.